Hey everybody, Pastor Shane here. Listen, I don't claim to be the, the end-all be-all to church knowledge and uh, I certainly don't know everything and I'm learning every day. Um, that being said, I, I've, I've been around church my entire life and uh, been out of church but, but been around it for even when I was out of it and uh, I've been preaching for and in ministry for over 20 years and uh, God has blessed me to see a lot in ministry and experience a lot, both good and bad. And um, I'm a little bothered by all the growth church and uh, church growth and leadership conferences that I'm seeing. And, and what I mean by that is I'm not sure if the information is relevant. Um, first of all, <clears throat> I don't mind paying your, your registration fee and my hotel, my airfare and all that good stuff. If I'm going to get something that's relevant to my situation. And what I mean by that is you can't just give blanket statements and expect it to work for every pastor. It, what worked for you may not work for my dynamic. Uh, you may not have the target that I have. You know, Jesus had a specific target. He, he told the Seraphonician woman, I'm not here but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He knew he'd have a Paul that would come along that would reach that Gentile nation. He, he had a target and a plan. And God gives us all a target. Now, we want to win the kingdom. We want to win the loss. But God will give you a specific ministry. I don't get upset when, when other churches are birthed because there are people that pastor can reach that I may not be able to reach. But you can't just bring me into a room, give me your model, and expect it to work. Because you have to give me something personalized to my dynamic. Um, you can't take a, a New York City church and expect to take that model and it work in rural Omaha, Nebraska. The mindset is different. The people are different and the culture is different. So I think when we do leadership conferences and, and we do church growth conferences, we need more one on one. We need to take the time to find out who we're talking to. Uh, instead, we're just coming together and getting great motivational speeches and hearing a lot of the same things. Sometimes the speakers are even negative because they're coming off like you're not where I am. And they're in essence saying you're never going to be where I am because you can't do what I do. Well, I don't need to do what you do. I need you to take the time to find out who I am and help me to structure a strategy based on my call. So uh, just a little bit of my two cents on some of the things that I've been seeing. I think it's important that we that we begin to focus more on what God has called us to do and the dynamic he's called us uh, to. Your geographic location is important. Your ethnicity is important. You could reach every culture, but you got to first understand what God has called you to reach to. Like, I know that I, I reach Latino people. I have Latin people in my ministry. I have black people in my ministry. I have white people in my ministry. But I also, I told my church and my wife, I said, we ought to have every mixed couple in the city in our church. Why not? If we're a mixed couple, then we should attract all the mixed couples because they shouldn't feel any more comfortable than at our church. And that's just the truth. That's one of our targets, along with Latinos, along with um, African Americans and white people and, and even Asian people. We, we're going after everybody. But I also know I can't please everybody. Some people like fast music. Some people like it slow. Some people like Southern Gospel. Some people like old school Pentecostal sound. I'm, I'm going to reach that target that God has given me and present the gospel in the way that he's given it to me. And we need more conferences that understand that and can provide speakers who have more diversity to be able to minister more one-on-one -on -one to those needs. That, that's just my two cents. I would love your comments. Uh, whether you, you agree or don't agree, that's cool with me. Uh, but I love your comments. Reach out to me. I've been posting a whole lot on Facebook, Shane Perry Sr. And on uh, you, excuse me, Facebook and Twitter at Shane Perry Sr. Been doing a lot of posts on this. So comment and let me know what you think. All right. Love you guys. I'm praying for you and, and hope the best. All right. And praying for the best for your life. In Jesus name. God bless.